after all, it's close to Chinatown, and it's, you know, it's got homeless issues around here. But, but in fact, it's very pleasant to be here. And um, it's, it's, a, it's a market. These, these vendors are actually making a living out of this. So you got to give them credit. And my own feeling is it has a European quality about it. Sit in front of the Pioneer Plaza with a cup of coffee. Uh, it's, you know, one of the best things you can do in Hawaii. One of the best places you can be. You know, because you know why? I'll tell you why. Just as in Europe, you know, it's people. It's people watching. If I'm able to watch people, I learn so much. I enjoy so much. I, I slip into the skin of everybody I watch. I, and I, I'm sort of learning about the essence of our community by watching the people who are walking up and down the 4th Street Mall. I love this place. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll do this again. Uh, we'll uh, try to do it in many places. So far, we've done it 4th Street and Tamarind Park. Uh, we've done it at the Kamehameha statue in front of the courthouse building. And that was interesting. We've done it in Kaka'aka with the art. Uh, we've, uh, excuse me, can I talk to you? Yes? Hi. Hi. I, are you I off a ship or something? Are you off a ship? No, no, no. Okay. What? Oh, you've got to get better light. Yeah, can you turn this way? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, uh, tell me why you're here on Fort Street. Um, we just arrived yesterday here in Honolulu by plane. Ah. Uh, we are from Austria. Ah. And we just do some sighting now. <laughs> okay. And um, uh, how do you like Hawaii so far? Very. It's a very, very special place here and very nice people. How does it differ from Austria? Very different. Yeah. Very different in every way. Yeah, in every well, you way. guys have a migrant problem over there. As a matter of fact, I read that they're taking some action, sort of a swing right yeah, against yeah. the migrants lately. Uh, That's true, yeah. What's happening? Oh, many people from the f Middle East coming now to, to Europe uh, via Greece and Romania, Bulgaria, and also from North Africa. Yeah. So I think this uh, can cause some problems in the future. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, how about how about Europe in general? Now, you know, our president, our very special president, <laughs> very 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 special president, very special. <laughs> yeah. doesn't, doesn't want to support the EU. And now, in, in today's newspaper, the EU is talking about forming a nuclear organization and trying to develop a nuclear stockpile. What do you think about that? Yeah. Well, uh, there are many talks about Donald Trump now in Europe, but uh, we don't know about him. So uh, let's see what the future will bring us. <laughs> we, hope <laughs> you know, the best. we hope the best. We are all hoping the best. Yes. We have we, our level of confidence is not that high, and yeah, I gather yeah. yours is not that either. <laughs> you know, we're trying to hold the world together here. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, he's not yes. going the same direction. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But we we will hope the best for the future. So that's my my wish. I'll tell you a short story. Today, I get an email about a house that was built with, with, with a printer. Yeah. You know, uh, ah. a printer. Uh, 3D. A 3D printer. Okay, a yeah. House that was built. A real house. A real house. It was brilliant. And the house was beautiful. And, and they did it in 24 hours with the printer. And you could see the time-lapse photography. You could see them do this. And guess who did this? Who built this house with this fabulous printer? Guess who? I'm going to really surprise you now. The Russians. Really? Do they, do they do that? Well, I think maybe they spend a lot of money. Uh, Vladimir Putin maybe spends a lot of money in, in technology to, to, to be even better than the, the Americans or the Europeans. I don't know. He has a lot of money, I think. <laughs> you mean personal money, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> maybe it's not his own money, but uh, who cares in Russia? <laughs> Right, it's all the same. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, are you worried about Russia? I'm not a real politician. My okay, husband you is Do you worry about Russia? Do you, do you mean we in Europe? Yeah. It, in, in Central Europe, not. But uh, maybe in the former uh, Russian-related countries, yes. like in Estonia, yes. Lithuania, Bulgaria, Romania, yes. even in Finland, yes. uh, I think they they a little bit... Uh, Nervous. Yeah, nervous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know the strangest thing with Trump and the Russians? Nobody can figure it out yet. No. And it, and it could be a much bigger issue than we ever imagined. Every day there are people yeah, yeah. who true. want to make something of it. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> but, um, 
Actually, we don't know uh, really much about Donald Trump. We, we uh, um, followed the, the campaigning before the elections. Um, kind of strange man. I, I, I'm not a rich man, so he, yeah. can, he can do anything he wants. Yeah, and uh, get away with it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, one thing that strikes me is that um, you know, people in Europe have been able to follow this campaign. Mm -hmm. That was a long, long, long campaign. Yeah. Uh, and they have followed it in great detail. And I guess they can. For example, we asked one of our correspondents in Brussels, uh, we told our correspondents there had been a really funny skit on Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she said, oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> she follows Saturday Night Live every Saturday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you're right. Uh, th th there were very pretty much details uh, uh, about the campaign of Donald Trump and um, even more detailed is now the, the um, constellation of his government. So there are really strange guys in, 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 in this uh, um, government now. You, know, <laughs> you can be American, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, closing words, what would you like to tell the people of Hawaii about your trip and about what you think? Um, I think I, I don't know very much about because we arrived yesterday, oh. but uh, we have a very nice feeling inside and we f feel very welcoming and warmly welcomed. So I hope the best for the Hawaiian people and mahalo nui loa. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> you really become one of the natives. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I like it. I hope to get, come in touch with the natives. So that's why we want to go to Hawaii. Yeah, first trip. Yes, oh, first great. trip. Well, I'm glad it's going well. I wish you every 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 good time here. Thank I you very much. I hope you see it all. And uh, closing words? Mahalo. <laughs> <laughs> From Austria we have right here on the 4th Street Mall. Thank you both. Thank you. Aloha. Thank you. <laughs>